our friend Kate Bilo is off the sky deck now. I guess it was hard to leave out there, right? It's so it, pretty. I had to drag myself in here. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, oh, this is October gorgeous. perfection. It's it gorgeous outside. My prediction, not a weather prediction, it's an apple picking prediction. I think the apple fields are going to be pretty packed yeah. tomorrow. Yeah, I think I'm, everyone's going to be like, oh, let's go pick apples. That's a good idea, yeah. Kate. You just gave people an idea. I did. Well, now the, and now the lines are going to be even longer. Yeah. Now I can't exactly. go apple picking tomorrow. Well, if you're going to go, despite the crowds, tomorrow is the perfect fall day for it. The sun will be shining. It will be a little crisp. You can wear the sweaters. You can wear the boots, and you're not going to be too hot. Perfection for an October day. That's what we've got outside right now as well. This is the, the view I just had from the sky deck. I thought I'd give you a shot of it without my head blocking the whole thing. And it looks really nice. The blue sky is just a few patchy, wispy clouds drifting by. The further north you go, the more clouds you'll see here this evening. But it looks pretty fantastic out there. But it is going to get cold quick once that sun dips below the horizon. It's going to get dark pretty quickly. By 7 o'clock, expect temperatures to really start plummeting. In fact, they are already plummeting. All this cold Canadian air is just draining south into the region. Look at this north wind bringing it all down. And temps are dropping, already dropping pretty rapidly. Now that our front has crossed the area, now that we're tapping into that cold Canadian air, it's only 59 in Allentown. More clouds there. 47 in Mount Pocono. It's 62 here in Philadelphia. Still in the upper 60s across South Jersey, but they were around 71 72 last hour so we're losing a couple degrees an hour as this cold air drains southward and you can see how cool it is to the north it's only 52 in scranton 58 in albany 58 in, in new york city there 57 in state college and only 48 in buffalo keep in mind it was 95 degrees at this time two days ago 62 outside right now and not an ugly 62 like what we had yesterday. Overnight, we're really going to see those temperatures plummet quickly into the 50s by about 8 o'clock, 57 at 9 o'clock, and then here we go all the way down to the 40s, bottoming out around 45 degrees in Philadelphia, which once again will be the coldest temperature we've felt in the city of Philadelphia since the last April. The seasons have changed. Our frost advisory in effect for our far north suburbs Lehigh, Northampton counties, up into the Poconos. It's mainly the colder spots. I don't think the the city of Bethlehem or Allentown will drop into the mid-30s and see frost, but the outlying areas certainly may. And remember, you don't have to go down to freezing to get frost. It's mid-30s, so 35, 36, 37, you can get some frost out there. So a frost advisory has been issued for those areas. If you have any sensitive plants outside, bring them inside if you're in these areas, because if they are sensitive to frost, that may happen tonight. A few more clouds to the north, sunshine to the south. Let's jump ahead to the game day forecast once again. 71 degrees, mostly cloudy. It will be pleasant out there. It's going to be a really, really dry start to the day, but then we've got a few showers trying to creep in late Sunday. We'll talk about that in just a moment. Overnight, the coldest air of the season. Tomorrow, a chilly start, then sunny and crisp at 63. What I want to show you is what this one model is doing here. Tomorrow is dry, but then look what happens on Sunday. The clouds gather, trying to bring some showers into central Pennsylvania by 10 a.m. I do think they mostly hold off. This is 5 p.m. Still not quite here. So I think most of the game is quiet. Can't rule out a shower getting in, but certainly Monday brings a better chance for showers and storms as our next cold front approaches. So your eyewitness weather seven day forecast tomorrow is your cool, crisp fall day. Morning temperatures in the 40s. The afternoon high just 63. It's actually pretty far below average for the time of year. Sunday is milder, turning cloudy. Maybe a shower, especially off to the west. Monday, a better chance for showers. And then we're going to clear it out. And you're looking for some nice fall weather. Maybe 63 sounds a little too chilly for you. How about a stretch of 70 with sunshine mm -hmm. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Looks mm -hmm. wow. great next week. Sounds good to me. A couple of vacation days <laughs> coming anyone's way. Nice. nice. <laughs> I mean, I know. I know, right? Exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Kate.